This video series is designed for software developers who want to build applications for Android, the mobile operating system that drives cell phones and tablets. In order to get the most out of this course, here's what you should already know. First, you'll need to know basic Java syntax. You'll need to understand how to create classes, methods, fields and properties, and other elements of the Java programming language. And you'll also need to know how to build very simple Android apps. And finally, you'll want to be comfortable working in Eclipse, the integrated development environment in which you build most Android applications. If you're new to any of these subjects, here are some tips to get started. If you want to learn about Java, take a look at the lynda.com course, Java Essential Training. You'll get an introduction to Java syntax, you'll learn how to install Eclipse, and you'll learn about Java projects, packages, and classes, and you'll have most of the vocabulary you need to be effective in Android programming. If you're brand new to Android, start off with the course Android App Development with Java Essential Training. In this course, you'll learn how to install the Android SDK and the developer tools, and how to install the Eclipse plugin that I use in this course. You'll get started with very simple Android applications and you'll learn how Java code is critical to creating the logic of your Android apps. This course is focused on data, and one of its major sections is all about integrating Android with SQLite. SQLite is an SQL-compatible database, so the more you know about SQL, the more effective you can be. This course includes everything you need to complete its own exercises with very simple SQL statements. But if you want to learn more, take a look at the lynda.com course SQL Essential Training. If you understand the basics of Java, simple Android apps, and SQL, you'll be ready to build data-centric applications for Android devices.